Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Coach Evan. And I really wanted to go ahead and get my post game out the way earlier today and kind of talk about it while it's on my mind, uh, while it's fresh on my mind. And I kind of had been waiting, you know, until like the next day or whatever and kind of leaving things out and not really doing it as thor thorough as I would like. So here now, this is my post game thoughts uh, looking at about an hour after the game. And I have the. Um, the game book in, in front of me with the stat sheet and all that stuff. So I um, really just want to go through it position by position and and kind of talk about some key plays and things like that and just give you my post-game analysis. So um, looking at the, the stat sheet, uh, we rushed for 215 yards, which is what traditionally when we're good is what we do. Uh, no Lamar. J.K. was lights out. Almost, almost, let's, let's, let's start with the running backs. The running backs in the O-line, man, you guys did an, an amazing job today. Rush for 215 yards. J.K. 15 for 120, 8 yards to carry. Gus uh, 13 for 66, 5.1 yards to carry. Uh, Huntley ran when he had to. Um, McCall had a uh, uh, one rush for two yards, which he should have had two rushes for two yards. We'll talk about that later. And uh, Drake had one rush, but he had that fumble. And we really didn't see much of him at all. Uh, Anthony Brown, three for minus five. So we'll, we'll talk about Anthony later. Huntley came in and did what I expected Huntley to do. To manage the game, don't turn it over, be effective, uh, first read, second read, run. That's what I expect with Huntley. First read, second read, run. Because there were some plays where people were open, but the O-line kind of – Broke down a little bit, I would say, in pass pro, maybe. And Huntley was up out of there. He ain't waste no time getting up out of there, which I don't mind your backup doing that. Um, early in the game, D-Rob started off hot. I want to say he had maybe three, four catches in the first quarter. He only finished with five, but he had three, four catches in the first quarter from, from Snoop. Um, so receiving-wise, we only threw for 104 yards. Uh, Huntley threw for 88. Uh, Anthony Brown threw for 16. We only had, what, 17 attempts, 11 completions. Uh, the longest one being 25 yards, and that was to who? That was to uh, DJ. That was to Deshaun Jackson. And that was kind of on a busted play. They kind of um, – the coverage went to Mark and other guys, and DJ ended up being wide open. But still, I can't say enough about what the O-line did in the run game. Ben Cleveland got out there on J.K.'s long run early in the game. Ben Cleveland mauling people. Uh, he was still in for the touchdown, too. Uh, I want to say Tristan Cologne, who I didn't even know could play guard, did a good job. I just, But I, I, I noticed Ben Cleveland was out there because I've been looking for Ben Cleveland for a while. But I can't say enough about the job that the O-line did versus um, the Steelers today. Um, receivers, they caught balls that were thrown to them. I can't recall a drop. There may have been. If there was some, put it in, you know, in the comment section below. But I can't really recall a drop happening. At least, I, again, I don't I don't remember one. So they caught the balls that were presented to them. But you're dealing with a backup quarterback and a third-string quarterback. So your opportunities are going to be – where and with the Ravens scheme, your opportunities are going to be few and far between. So, you know, they did what they did. We had some crucial catches, though. We had some crucial, crucial catches. And I'll take that. Um, let's see who, who anybody, anybody else I want to talk about offensively. Now, that's pretty much for the offense. We pounded the rock, controlled the clock, and um, let me look at time possession. We had 23 first. No, we only had 18 first downs. We only had 18 first downs. Third down, we was 4 for 13, which is 30%, which is way below our average. Um, time possession. We won time possession by about six minutes, basically 33 minutes to 27 minutes. Uh, we won the turnover battle, which is key. We won the, we won the turn, turnover battle. And I'm trying to see, uh, is it on here? I know we had three interceptions. Did we turn? I don't think we turned it over at all. Let's see. Yep, did not turn it over. Our drive summary, punt, field goal, touchdown, turnover on downs. I don't know if you want to call it that, that. Field goal, end of half, punt, punt, 
field goal in the game. So, and they had punt, punt, touchdown, interception, interception, punt, interception, missed field goal, touchdown. So, yeah, we won the turnover battle. Uh, but let's talk defensively. Defensively. And I'll throw a few stats out there for you defensively. Obviously, you know we had the three interceptions. Um, Queen had one. Roquan had one. Marcus Williams, who returned today, had one. Um, Tackles-wise, we had four guys with led with six tackles. Humphreys, Clark, Smith, and Queen both had six, six tackles apiece. So Roquan had, look at the stat line. He had six tackles, a sack, a TFL, a QB hit, an interception, and two passes defended. That's a hell of a stat line for Roquan. And I'm going to say it again. Six tackles, a sack, a tackle for loss, a QB hit, an interception, two passes defended. Queen beside him had six tackles, a QB hit, or interception, and a pass defended. Them two, them two right there, they have potential if they play together for two, three, four years to be something special. Something special. If I'm not mistaken, Roquan's 25, 26. Queen may be 23, 24. And if you can some kind of way figure out a way to get both of them on, you know, deals to another deal, you might have some on your hands. Especially if you can keep some hog mullers in front of them to keep people off of them. All right. Um, who else has a sack? Bowser had a sack. We missed a bunch of sacks too, though. We missed about four sacks that we should have had. Um, but, again, only gave up two touchdowns. And I've been saying it for, what, the past two or three weeks now. All the groceries are on defense. So we need to hold people to 17 to 23 points. We only gave up 14. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. And I know, you know, people is going to um, bash Marlon for, for his game. I, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. He did have – Pickens made some plays on him. Pickens made some plays on him. Pickens is a dog. I'm just not gonna bash Marlon because he's played too well this season for me to just straight up turn and turn and turn and feed him to the wolves. He's played too well this season for me to just he sucks us and you know I just I'm just not gonna do it. He had a bad game, but that's why it's a team game. The rest of the team bailed him out, and I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. He still led us in tackles. He had a couple vital plays, and I'm, I'm good with it. I'm good. I'm good. The defensive guys up front, the interior guys that got after it in the run game, how many rushing yards do they have? Because we all know Najee can be an animal, big as he is. They only had 65 rushing yards. That's a testament to that front seven. To that front seven. And look how we control the clock. We had 42 attempts running the ball. They only had 20. They only had 20. So, really, they gave up on the run because – they weren't like three scores behind. They just gave up on the run because they couldn't do it. They threw it 31 times. Um, we threw it 17. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with the defense giving up 14 points. I'm good. Offense just have to find a way to score 17 to 23 points, and I think we should win games. I think we should win games. But let me give you this key stat right here, this key stat before we run up out of here. Fourth quarter time of possession. Yeah, we, we all know it was 15 minutes and a quarter. Ten min, We had the ball for 10 minutes and 25 seconds in the fourth quarter. They only had it for four minutes and 35 seconds. And granted, they scored a touchdown. Granted, they scored a touchdown. But that's how you control the clock, salt the game away with a third-string quarterback. With a third-string quarterback. They knew we were running the ball late, and we still ran it, which is – Says a lot to me about the O-line. I can't wait to go back and look at the the actual play calls, like the the, 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 the run scheme or whatever, like if it was counter power or whatever, and to see the different blocks up front and how they unfolded. I, the only one I really – the only one that really sticks out to me is J.K.'s long run early and Ben Cleveland doubling somebody, then coming off and washing some stuff down, and then almost doing the same thing on the touchdown run. Though, that's the two plays that stuck out to me O-line-wise, but I can't wait to see how they work well together. And, you know, J.K. on 1.63 legs over 100 yards, and as a team rushing for 200 yards. Proud of the win. 3-0 in the, in the division. 
Um, the only negative thing I'll say right now is um, that fourth and one, where we tried to give the jet sweep to Duvernay, just put Ricard in and, and quarterback sneak it. Or, or do it. Don't, you don't have to be fancy right there. You don't have to be fancy. That's that's when that's when you put Drewski in and like because they did it later in the game and just let him pound it, or put Mark on the center, let him get it, or do a traditional run, but with 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 Gus going downhill. But again, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be negative. Uh, you know, we won a game, we won a division game. Anytime we beat the Steelers, I don't care if it's by point five points, it's always a good day, and I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my Sunday. I appreciate you for coming through. I appreciate everybody that came through the live stream, showed love, showed support. I appreciate all the patrons. I appreciate all the patrons um, that are, no, all the members and the patrons that are over the $10 level, and that would be these people here. That would be Jared Green, Brandon Bazell, Brandon always in the chat, everyone. Jared is too. Uh, Chris Artman. Arrow Provost. And last but not least, Lunch Break Hot Take Crew. I appreciate y'all, man. I appreciate everybody for coming through. I appreciate everybody for being a patron or being a, a member. If you want to do those things, those to to do that will be down in the description. Again, Coach Evans, Sip the Tally Films. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Don't forget about the round table Monday, 9 o'clock. Be there or be square. That's kind of corny. That's what they used to say back in the day. And I'm old, so that's what we used to say back in the day. And uh, peace, y'all. I'm out. Go flop.